Donc, uh, en anglais, I had a wonderful conversation with Minister Reznikov this morning. We discussed Operation Unifier. We discussed the important aid that Canada has put on the table and the willingness of our country to continue to work with Ukraine with our allies and partners across the NATO alliance to support the stability and security of Ukraine now and going forward. Minister, you're moving uh, Canadian forces west of the river. What information do you have that uh, prompted that change? The safety and security of the armed forces is my top priority at all times. And out of an abundance of caution, we are repositioning some of our troops. Well, why, why now? Why not previously the last week? We are continually monitoring the evolving and concerning situation and made a decision to move troops in that regard. Minister, did you hear anything today in your meeting that would make you change your mind about the uh, present assessment of uh, the invasion threat by Russia? The meeting this morning was primarily about the aid that Canada put on the table last Wednesday and that we will continue to execute on. For example, I discussed the arrival of the aid, I discussed the expansion of Unifier, we discussed how important Unifier has been on the ground to the training of Ukrainian troops, including the National Guard. Uh, the tenor of the conversation was very amicable and resolved to continue the working relationship going forward. So did you have an opportunity to discuss the possibility of uh, restarting a, ch a program of sharing satellite data and reconnaissance data with uh, the Ukrainians? The issues that we discussed were broad ranging. And I, in particular, asked for their assessment of the various types of aid that would be useful across the board. We discussed uh, cybersecurity in particular and how important it is uh, to make sure that cyber networks are secure. So did you discuss lethal weapons in the meeting today? We discussed a range of aid across the board and I committed to bring the information that was shared with me uh, by Minister Reshnikov and his team back to the Canadian government so that we can continue to ensure that we are full-fledged in our support for Ukraine. That still doesn't answer whether you specifically brought up the issue of lethal weapons and I, and I went through your answer yesterday a couple of times and I'm still having some trouble understanding what the threshold is for Canada to make that commitment. So I realize I've asked you a two-parter there, whether it came up in the meeting and what the threshold is, but if I could get a direct answer to both, I'd appreciate it. Well, I will give you a direct answer, and the direct answer is that we discussed a number of forms of aid, and it would be prudent in light of the very intense and sensitive security situation at the current time for me to discuss that first with my counterparts in cabinet and with the Prime Minister uh, prior to making formal decisions or announcements about what was discussed. What is your assessment that you're going to give the Secretary General? I will be meeting with the NATO Secretary General tomorrow, Jens Stoltenberg, uh, before heading to Latvia and we will discuss a range of items including how the NATO alliance can continue to be supportive of a strong and stable Ukraine. Merci beaucoup tout le monde.